All right, what's up, y'all? It's Liquor from here. As you see on the screen right now, we got me and Kitchen versus Nade and Venue. So I'm gonna explain how this video went down. We're, we're gonna skip the intro, you know, just get get straight to the point. Um. Anyway, you see, but also you see, 99 Pure Sharp and Nate on his 95 glass. Clean record from Nate too. But um. Anyway, and then you got me and Kitchen. I don't have any like scheme like build right now for the re for the athletic. I'm low key switching my uh, Zion build to LeBron though. I already got the Zion mixtape and that's gonna be coming out like soon as draft night hits. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, you see me and Kitchen are on the stretch play in the rebounding athletic. Simple as that. This is what we always be running unless I'm on Zion. In which case, it's not really like comp. It, it, this this these build combos aren't even comp in the first place anyway. If you really think about it. But me and Kitchen just work this to our like to our best ability. So real quick. You know the deal. I'm, I'm going to rewind it. I know you guys hate it, but <laughs> I'm going to rewind it. If they switch once, they're going to switch again. You know the deal. So Nade switches on um, Nade switches on the kitchen. Or wait, no, no, no. So they switch venue on the kitchen. So what's the deal? They're going to switch back. <laughs> so boom, just slip it. It's If you guys have been with my channel, you know this is like literally how I just play this game 100%. Anyway, let me, and I'm not going to commentate too much more of this game. I will commentate this one next play though. Um... I just wanted to point something out. So you see, we go for the slip again. Um, they're gonna, um, Nade's gonna step up just a little bit too high, but he gets a nasty block, bro. <laughs> that was clean. Um, it honestly, Kitchen could have thrown a lob too, and it would have made it impossible to block that. But in these situations, you don't really know if you want to take those risks. But anyway, so let's get let's get straight to this point. Now, also, you see, like he jumps, I get fouled. Maybe could have blocked that. Maybe I could have made it one of the two. But either way hits the median and you know nothing really happened off it um I'm, i want to address something real quick this dude venue now nade played a great game and and obviously like i'm sure and also right here i was not <laughs> i was not expecting him to go for that layup but Nade played a great game and i'm sure maybe he was raging a little bit who knows i, I mean i didn't see his like reaction to it but this dude venue dog um i don't want to like start any beef or anything but man, this dude was on some other stuff, like in his stream. Um, so not actually, matter of fact though, I didn't even see or hear any of the stuff from his stream. I kind of heard it a little bit just cause like I had a homie, I think uh, AK was was over here like watching the game. Um, and then, or maybe he was watching the second one, but um, also there's two games. Yeah, one of them is, does not include Nade. The other is Venue still. Right here, kind of Stevie pass. That was that was a bad <laughs> that was a bad one right there. Um, Kitchen gets a sort of open look from three. But anyway, let me let me get back to my point. I don't want to like bring this any toxicity to this video because I love like you know just bringing good gameplays to my subs and just making this very watchable and then like enjoyable. You know what I mean? And pretty chill too. But also while you're still like having this chill experience, it's still a good game. And like you know I it's still good competitive gameplay from me that I'll, I'll be showing. But, bro, this dude venue was just so, like, it, you know, you guys know those, like, stage heads, like, the toxicity and just, like, just childish, like, stuff that you would expect from these dudes. You know what I mean? Just, like, they, like, they just, they just act like 14-year-olds, bro. And I'm sure he might even be one. I'm not even sure. But, um, you see right here, I should have, I should have rolled the basket, but I was coming for the, the rescreen and the slip. Um, bro, it's just, like, these dudes just, I swear, I just can't stand their, like, childishness and like toxicity bro like but anyway it's whatever um this dude was out here like you know clowning my youtube channel and whatnot in his stream when i, I couldn't even i couldn't even look his stream up i, I would put his name in and, and I, I just couldn't find it i couldn't even find his twitter so like i mean i don't know i just i'm not gonna say i was offended by that because honestly i i'm sure whatever i'm doing in this 2k community while I might not like, you know, clout chase or like have big names. Like matter of fact, I'm this video for example, I'm not putting Nade's name in my title. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I don't collab with other YouTubers. I could. I don't try to. Like, you know, I just um I, I like to do my own thing on this. And I don't like to I don't like to be prisoner to the moment, I guess, if you will. And and that's a tough miss from Kitchen, but he was hooping all day. And I feel bad for him because he wasn't playing like the greatest in this in these games, but he got the job done in both of them, obviously. Um, right here, no contest. That should have at least been like lightly, probably heavily, but um, no. I I wanted to address again though. Shout out to Nate because he he did play a good game, and I I could see the IQ in his game too. And it's honestly like it kind of reminds me of how I play too. 
But um, I just think at the end of the day, it sounds crazy, bro. But I really do feel like my build is better than Nate's. <laughs> like, I really do. Um, you see a block right there. He gets his own rebound. But, like, I mean, the speed and just... I understand, like, the brick wall is nutty, like, on a Hall of Fame, like, pure glass, you know? Um, right here, I step out. This would have been a free board, really, if you think about it. But that's, that's a tough... That's a tough, like, just miscue. Not even a miscue. Just unfortunate, I guess. You know what I mean? Um, but, man... No, what, what was I getting at? Oh, yeah, this dude venue, bro. Uh, some, of, some of you 2K dudes have to grow up, dog. Like, you, you just, I don't know. He, and then he was sitting here, like, talking about, like, because I, I could hear this part. Or AK told me he was like, I hope he doesn't put me on YouTube. Like, you damn right I'm putting it on YouTube, bro. Especially with that attitude. This dude, and now listen, again, I don't want to I don't want to start any beef or anything. I don't, I don't want any, like, problems. Not that I'm, like, afraid of anything. You see, but right here, also, um, I want to explain how this works, too. So, a big part of rebounding, yeah, forget all that stuff, bro, I'm, I'm past that anymore, but a big part of rebounding is speed, in my opinion, and you see, I beat, I beat Nade to the spot, basically, right, I beat him, like, to the paint, because of speed, and then I still get positioning, and it doesn't matter if you're a pure glass, it doesn't matter if you got Hall of Fame Hustle Rebounder, you're 7 foot 3, it doesn't matter, bro, I still got Gold Hustle, I got, and you see right here, I didn't want to throw any, like, Stevie again, so, he had to help over on Kitchen, that's, like, the one time we ran this LT stuff, yo, Honestly, bro, in a side note, I'm getting so tired of all of these sharps thinking they're good by literally just holding, like, running around LTs for them. And then, you see so right here, I, I definitely should have slipped that, but um, they were playing a good pick and roll defense to where, like, I couldn't tell what they were going to do. Like, they didn't constantly just do the same thing, and that's what I would definitely suggest for anybody that ever plays against me. Um, you see right here, they're trying to make that switch, but I keep, like, trying to figure out when to, when to go on that. Um... You see right there, that was an open. Again, that probably should have been a heavily, or maybe even just lightly. I appreciate when 2K allows that stuff right there, though. But anyway, you see, I got takeover on now, so I'm just going straight at the paint. Um, if they, and yo, okay, so right here, bro, I seen that, right? And this is where I love, I would love to point out my IQ of this game, too. So, what I'm trying to do right here, and I'm sorry for those who don't enjoy that I'm pausing the game right here. I got another gameplay, too, so this might be a longer video. But anyway, what I'm trying to do right here, I'm, I'm pausing it because I want to explain what happens before it happens because I know exactly what I said here. Um, so I'm trying to keep Kitchen away from me, right? Because if he comes back to the ball, um, that allows them to switch at any, at any given moment that they want. Not that I couldn't just go straight at somebody. Matter of fact, I would probably rather Nate be on me anyway because like I'm still going to blow right past him. Or if he's just in the paint, I'll probably dunk on him. But... Um, and that would be low-key kind of nice to get a clip of that. But anyway, I'm, I'm playing. Let's... So... Let's just get straight on with this. I'm telling them to stay on the wing because it's going to create enough space to where they're going to not have enough room to switch. And then, boom, a lob should be open, like, right away. Um, so I told him to look for this. And then, boom, yep, switch, up, easy lob. Simple as that. <laughs> I love it, bro. Um, so anyway, here is the final stat sheet. Venue was over here going 2 for 5. Uh, Nade was doing his thing. I just, I feel kind of bad because he did get, he did kind of like get done bogus by 2k on that one rebound where it was like a long out of bounds rebound. But anyway, 12 and 2, Kitchen with 10 and 5. Um, this is how me and Kitchen's stat lines usually be looking, honestly, bro. Like it, it's always like we do even scoring and we just play how the defense gives us points. CC Venue quits, <laughs> dude's heated. Um, now also... Somebody, AK was telling me that, like, it might have been T-Jack on that account, too. Now, sorry for all the inconvenience here, but I'm going to go skip the game, too, now. Um, AK was telling me it could have been T-Jack for that game, but I don't know. Then I loaded up his, or, like, AK loaded up his stream and seen it, seen it was him. So I'm pretty sure it was Venue. But anyway, um, we got game two now. So he was running with a different pure glass for this game as we're buffering this stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry for inconvenience here, but um, he pulled up on me again, like, and this time, I think he was like mad heated too, bro. He was like, he was like coming back for like revenge and just had a vengeance that he was like trying to win this game. But anyway, so you see another center pure glass, and then you know, I, and these dudes were calling us randoms too. Now I'm a pause it. Just because of the clothing you're wearing, dog, does not make you that much better in this game. Cause listen to me. All these dudes who win Gold Rush and Protect the House and Top Crew and Top Dog. Bro, it's all you freaking boosters that just be like, bro, it doesn't, 
You're not even good at the game for winning those things, bro. Like, you don't even be winning games legit. You legit, just, just like, bro, that just irritates me when people, like, be talking about, like, these events they win just make them better. I'm, I'm gonna say this. In, there's never been an event in this game that really makes you better than your opponent by just having that logo or, like, that clothing. I mean, I won Mountain Dew in 2K17, right? And every single person who, who did that was just boosting. They had people pulling up for them. And all it was was just YouTubers would just win that event every single time. So, I don't know. I mean, I didn't I didn't fully do that, but I'll, I'll admit to it. Like, I had some people come throw me games. Like, it, it's simple as that. I'm not going to deny that. Every single person who won that event did. Um, But I will say this. The only time that you truly do show your, show your like, skill is against, like, when other comp comes to play you. And you can't even do that in this game now because, bro, it's just like a... You guys know that Spider-Man meme where they're both like shooting at each other, bro. It's like, it's like, these these little delayers. They'll just do the same thing. Like they they are both like trying to delay the game against each other. It's like, bro, what is the what is the point of this? Like it just you can't even prove your like skill in this game anymore, because like all these quote unquote like comp players are the same ones who who are just like having people get completely lagged out of games against them. Um. So anyway, let's carry on with this gameplay. Again, you see. Venue had a had another glass cleaner come play with him. Um, another like bro, a low-key sleeper thing about Venue's build. This dude got a silver D stopper. That is nuts, bro. On a pure sharp. In the first place, 2K. I think it's nuts that you even give a pure sharp. Um that you even give it. Yeah, that was a whack passing lane too, bro. I hate those on-ball passing lanes, but I think it's pretty whack that 2K gives a pure sharp D stopper in the first place. Like, like bro, my Zion build, the slash primary playmaker second, has bronze D stopper. And a pure sharp gets that too? That's nuts. That's just that's just wild. Even a shooting guard pure sharp gets bronze D stopper. So then by the time you hit 99 on a build like this, um also oh, you see what I'm saying with these pure glasses, bro. I mean, being a pure glass does you absolutely nothing, in my opinion, in this game. And I just feel like it might be one of the worst builds in the game. So you see, he has to hedge. Um Kitchen could have easily thrown a lob right there, but um I'm sure he wasn't trying to trying to get out of his comfort zone either but i just feel like pure glass might be one of the worst builds in the game bro i mean especially with this lt bs in the game so you see right oh dang that was that was my bad that was 100 my bad I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind this so um you see how i how i'd be playing right and i usually do look for these slips quite a bit so they had to put the big on the kitchen right and as soon as i come toward him again they're definitely looking to switch this so i and kitchen i'm sure assumed i was gonna slip right there i don't know what the heck i was doing on that um, I think I was looking to run it back for a rescreen slip. You see right here, I'm kind of just freelancing at this point. And he gets he gets behind me. I just go up with the layup. But yeah, that was definitely my bad. I I don't make too many mistakes like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That that one was pretty bad. <laughs> but thankfully, it didn't cost us a turnover or anything. Um, but yeah, no. Back to my pure glass point. Um, I understand. It's actually like a solid build with this LT garbage because like. Even though you're kind of not using your hustle rebounder to the max ability, um, or the brick wall, I mean, the hustle rebounder is nuts. So it's it is kind of crazy that that can just it'll it'll help you a lot in those situations. But in my opinion, bro, this, this athletic stuff is low key. Like honestly, I just I think a lot of people sleep on this build, and a lot of people don't want to go out of the box and like you know make anything like this. But so you see right here, we force the switch. Now real quick, we're gonna run it back and slip. Like I'd be talking about and there it is um the alley-oop finishing ability with this build is crazy bro like I, I feel like a, if a lot of bigs would just use this build now also bro I don't understand why you guys all these like nuts uh, bro I don't know what to call them like these like these just crazy stage players bro like they just are like literally like like stick your stick your hand out right now everybody who's watching this it's pretty it's pretty level right nothing shaking but like bro these stage dudes like their, their stuff be twitching back and forth like they're just on edge bro like they be <laughs> like bro why are you face guarding an athletic finisher on an inbound like that like i i, I don't like to do it because i don't i don't like to have my i feel like my teammates be got like kind of getting caught by surprise when i do that obviously because like you know the intention is always to come back to the ball but like bro i'll just point out to whoever i'm running with i'm like dog they are all up on me for no reason like I'm backdooring on this on this stuff right now, <laughs> cause like what I'm trying to do is keep them off me to make the inbound cleaner. Cause I'm not even trying to get anything off this LT garbage. Like me and Kitchen have realized, like bro, 
if we're gonna run next year, there's no reason we should like, you know, use this LT stuff because it's just, it's just gonna make you like not quite as good as you should be in the game next year. So, and I would hope they take this garbage out. But what I use it for is the inbound. Um, just because uh, it's just, it's so hard to get the ball back, especially against double locks. Like I'm trying to get the ball back in the kitchen's hands, and when and when I'm inbounding or when he's inbounding, it's so hard to like properly do that. So anyway, you see. This is what I'm talking about, bro. I don't know why people sleep on my build. Like, if I made this a center, it would be great. Because I get gold brick wall and, like, silver rim protector then. But center hedges out just barely. And it doesn't matter, bro. You can't, you can't like, not stay attached on me. Um, So, you see, I get takeover now. This is over at this point, bro. Um, You see, we're going to get back to him again. And then, so, like, bro, like, what do you guys do at this point? Like, you're leaving a pure sharp on an, on an island to, like, get, you know, just... Because you can't detach from me at all. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta stay, stay attached or else you're getting a lob thrown on you all day. And then, if you, uh... You see right here, I, I did hit him with the LT garbage. I was feeling a little, I was feeling a little salty at, <laughs> at this dude, but, um... No, like, you, you have to stay attached. And Kitchen with Sharp Takeover and Playmaker Takeover is just gonna, like, he's just gonna be in his bag and just go nuts. But, anyway, final stat line again. Um, Kitchen 6 for 8 this game. I was 5 for 5. It's a, bro, as far as my build goes, I would highly suggest it. And I'm going to make something like this next year. Um, for those of you who do want to make, I, I'll, this is my selling point to those of you who are trying to, like, uh, would maybe be on edge to make a build like mine next year. This is what I'm going to make next year. I'm going to make a fun build that is also still a comp scene. So, in my opinion, if I were to remake a build this year, I would make a center pure athletic, probably. Or a center two-way athletic, one of the two. But either way, um, what my build is capable of this year that not many others are, it's just absolute crazy lobs while still being, like, a solid rim protector, great perimeter defender, and then, like, still a, a very viable screen setter. Um, now, I can't really shoot with this build. I think it's garbage that a slasher gets 10 less three-pointer than a rim protector. But, anyway. And that's a that's a fact, actually. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's actually a thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's all for the vid. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, all that good stuff. Um, definitely check out some other videos, too. But, anyway, like I said, I'm not going to put Nade's... I'm not going to put Nade's name in my title. Um, I don't really have no clue when I'm going to title this, but... If you did make it to the end of the video, put Kitchen in the comments. And other than that, man, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.